Good afternoon, Clarendon Fine Artificial. How are we all? On the live feed today, this afternoon, from London to the Cotswolds. So we are very, very exciting. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the live feed from Clarendon Fine Art here on a Friday afternoon. And we are going live from London, here in London, vaguely sunny London, to one of my favorite places in the UK, the Cotswolds. And we are going to be joined by one of my favorite artists. We're hopefully going to be joined now by Lucy Pratt, live from her home in the Cotswolds. I'm just going to wait for Lucy to join us. And she's there. Hey, Lucy, how are you? I'm very well, Ray. How are you? Oh, I'm really good, thank you. This has been a very long time, hasn't it? Well, it has. It has. It's been slightly, I'd say slightly strange in lockdown. It's been 13 weeks. Um, but no, you've been you've been locked down in possibly one of my favourite places in the UK, the Cotswolds. Like totally beautiful place to be. How has it been for you, darling? How, how have you how have you got on in the last thirteen weeks? Well, it, I mean, being here quite spoilt, really. It's been lovely. I, I usually have my very long days of painting. The children go off at school, and I'm probably like many other people, had a full house. Everyone's at home, so. Dudley, my dog, is super happy to have a full house. It's, so it's, be, it's been a lot more active and busy. Um, but, I mean, pr pretty lovely, really, and like, amazing weather. So as well as doing my London set, I've been able to sort of dash out in the garden or into the fields and go and paint outside. I've been really spoilt for that. That, that does sound pretty, pretty enjoyable. I mean, I'm, I'm, used to, um, I'm used to seeing your paintings gracing the covers of uh, Cotswold Home. Uh, and now, and now we have the luxury of joining you at home in the Cotswolds, and your home and studio. Now you've built your studio there as well, haven't you? Yeah. So we've got a lot more space, and I, I will be able to show you as we pan round in a minute. Um, I've got these lovely big double doors that look onto the garden. When I do very large pieces of work, it's really nice for me to be able to. Um, run, open them up, run out and get a really long view on them um, and different perspectives. So um, brilliant light, even in the winter, even when it's pouring of rain, it's just great for working. Amazing. Luce, this is really, really exciting for us. I mean, you, I mean, you, born in Oxfordshire, we know. Born in That's Oxfordshire. right, yeah. Um, studied at um, the Banbury School of Art, um, followed by yeah. Love Art, Cheltenham School of Art, um, you worked at MoMA in Oxford. Um, yeah, yeah. Teaching at Cheltenham School of Art as well. Yeah. And then by 22, you had your first one-man show. That's, that's right. It was, um, it was having come back from travelling in Asia and largely India, I came back with a collection of work and took it to a gallery and they said, we love it we'll give you a show. And I was able, luckily enough, after the show to leave within about two days and go and do another year out there and just paint, paint, paint. I used to sort of get the help sometimes of the backpackers to take work back, um, bring it back through, through the years so I didn't have to carry it all on that year trip. Um, and I did that consistently till I moved to London. Amazing. Now, Speaking of London, London is a very, very special place for you, isn't it? Um, and I know it's inspired your a series of work that you've taken. I think we've worked out nearly two years. But tell me why London's so special to you, Luz. Um, I think it's having not been brought, brought up there, even though now at 50, when I go up, I get a sort of excitement in my tummy it's so exciting getting the train you don't know who you're going to meet and the characters you're going to find and for me when I'm going up to draw and sketch I'm taking my paints the days ahead off I go I don't make any plans I just see where it takes me and Soho is one of the places I always love to go because you're always going to get those incredible characters I love trying to find those dudes and people hanging out and that life and excitement and these are, what I'm going to do, Lucy, just so you know, we've got loads yeah. of 
for joining us um, and commenting, which is really wonderful. But I'm just going to switch those comments off so everyone can see see your paintings. So show us round this amazing collection. I think we have about 12 very famous streets of London that you have very cleverly in your brilliant style. You've brought them to life, haven't you? Let's have a look. Oh, oh thanks very much. So, I mean, you can spot this as um, sort of centre for Soho outside Compton's. It was started from last May, that lovely sunshine when everyone's just beginning to think, right, summer's coming, going to clock off early. Um, the, the girls are chatting away. I, what I want to get in my paintings is that action. Hopefully, from a landscape to a figure painting, they're alive and just full of like what's going to happen next and the opportunities that you get in London to have an adventure, have some fun and anything can happen. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of these wonderful characters um, that you find um, where, wherever you are, when you, especially with this series, they really do pull the composition of your painting together, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for those characters. I mean, sometimes what I'll be doing is I'll be finding an exciting spot, um, but the, the figure that I choose to, might come from a sketch from many days ago or even a year ago. And I just remember in my head, they're all sort of shorthand thing, flip through and think, right, that's what I want. And then other times, which I'll go on to show you in a minute, um, another painting, it, that person just happens to appear at the right time. This... Um, this guy I was just so excited when I saw him. His trousers were just so tight. It was unbelievable, his white, white jeans. He looked so cool and really, really funky shoes. And it's, it's an artist's dream when someone like that comes along. Yeah, it is, actually. It really is, isn't it? Especially in London, because you get, you get all sorts in London, incredible characters. And they've definitely well, you... all made your paintings, for sure. You do, and I, I, use the, I like all the, the, the signs and the billboards, and often I change them to my own thing. So there's a nod to Mogdigliani up there on, on the billboard, this one of Piccadilly. Uh, um, is, that, is that sort of one of your, I mean, you, you know, with regards to sort of your influences from, from art, artists in, in sort of art, art history, have you got quite a few influences that sort of influence your work and your painting, especially I, in this series? I really... I really have, Ray. There's, um, I mean, I love figurative painters. I'm a massive fan of Edward Burrow. Um, I always oh. loved his bar scenes and the way, um, I like the way <clears throat> he gets um, people's shapes and the way they hang out. It's, that, you know, that movement is so exciting for me. I uh, love um, the designs and patterns of Julian Trevelyan. Um, you know, in the landscape side, I you know, absolutely love um, some of the work of Paul Nash. I would, uh, the list of Stanley, Spencer, of course. Um, but um, yes, it's, I suppose it's all always ca it, coming through. Is this, um, I recognise this, this is, oh, Compton Street, isn't it? That's right. I mean, I could pay. I could probably just set up a tent and stay there for a while, Ray. Maybe I'll do that next time I pop up. Just well, focus on, on that street. It's just um, changing every every second. I love that street. You're right. It's always buzzing, isn't it, and bustling. I mean, I don't think yeah. Soho. It must be an artist's dream for you because Soho um, is very renowned for. I mean, it never sleeps, does it? Ever. I don't think no, I've ever seen. It doesn't, and. And it's artistic, you know, you're going to meet other people, you know, there are people who are lively in films and the arts, and you've got designers, you've got funky little um, um, sort of hat, hat, uh, hat and clothes shops. I love the people that are hanging out, and their trainers, and all the fashion, there's so much. People looking sexy and hot and out to trot. It's um, yeah, it's yeah, it's great, and all and and the colours everywhere, the symbols. There's a lot to be, there's a lot to put down. Absolutely, and you always sort of manage to. I think with your work, Lucy, you manage to sort of transfer this sort of vitality of spirit, this kind of joyous moments, um, and it would seem your work is sort of underpinned by this very gentle sense of humour um, in a slightly whimsical way of life. Would you agree with that? Um, I, I would, I would. I mean, I think life is 
full of adventure and if you're open to it things will happen to you I mean, I mean that's one of the going back to the traveling or going to somewhere like London you never really know what's going to happen who you'll meet um uh, or um where you'll end up by the end of the evening yes that's a frequent occurrence isn't it <laughs> this is a great this London. is Murd Street this one is Murd Street which is um it was just the most beautiful street. The sun was shining through and those lovely black old railings with the, with the light catching on them. And there's, um, I noticed um, there's a lot of scaffolding and boarding up in Soho now. Sometimes initially you can think, oh, that's a bit disappointing. I, you know, wanted it. But then when you look again, the reflections you get off it and things, it's a surprise. You've just got to be really open-minded to what you're going to find that day. And, and also Absolutely. sometimes you can come back and you, you haven't got what you wanted. That's why it's such a joy when it does, when it does um, work out and you come home on the train with a painting and thinking, right, that's going to lead to, to one painting sometimes where it might lead to a series of six or seven. Absolutely. I brought you in the and studio you... now. Oh, now this is my this is my favourite. This is called pool patterns, isn't it? This is pool patterns. I was lucky enough to go. A friend of mine said, "I've got to go." Um, she she was living out in Saint Tropez. I've got to go out. Do you want to come loose? Come and paint. You'll love it. You'll love it. I'd never been before, and she she took me to places I I, you know, just blew my socks off for the colour. But um, talking about um, my landscapes and things. For this one in particular, I really love the harmony of this with the the repeats, and I've repeated it in the clouds, and then all the horizontal horizontals. So I hope when uh, when you're looking at it, it brings your heartbeat down. It makes you want to reach out, have get a drink, put your favorite yeah. music on, and just relax with with the dudes again. There were these really cool chicks hanging out by the pool. Yeah, um, I'm, and I'm definitely feeling I, um, loose. I, I don't know whether you can get this. This is the drawing. It's a bit paint spattered now, but um, this is the drawing I did it from. Is that how you tend? I know you do paint on plein air loose. Is that how you also paint? Obviously, do you sketch it out first and then bring sketches back, or do you do a bit of both? It, it um, a bit of both, Ray. Right? I mean, I tend to. I have. Um, I have bags. Um, with my paints in my boards, but sometimes if I'm in a really, really exciting spot, I need it all. I'm grabbing sketchbooks, I'm putting paints, I'm, uh, I'm just trying to grab that essence of where I was at the time. Um, so this, this is another figurative one. So it's sort of, it's, it almost links between the London ones and the countryside because this is Cornwall Manor. Um, it's it's a beautiful spot near me. They do fantastic weddings. Now, and um, I was lucky enough to go and draw there. Yeah, and we saw this. Now, this is, I, I have my magazine somewhere. Now, that was on the front cover, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Then? Yeah, it was. I'll, um, saw it. It's here on my, on my painting table, um, the, the really? Cotswold Homes. It's, so this one, this is just a detail of it, but... Um, I mean, that was a lovely place. So to to be able to capture that was fun. This oh, is yeah. uh, this is another one from Planner, um, done very nearby here. Um, I see this tree so often when I'm driving around, and it was incredibly hot when I painted it, and you just get this very lovely yellow fields with just touches of red flecking up the poppy heads. These are, these are really beautiful. This is, so obviously you've got your London series and then obviously you're really famous for doing your, um, these amazing paintings, incredible use of colour, Lou. So you are a real colourist, but the way you utilise the colour is breathtaking. And a lot of these are near where you are in the Cotswolds, which you have the most beautiful, you've got the most beautiful area around you to paint. You must be in utter heaven. I am. I don't know whether you can see out, this is my, Luckily, it's not raining, Ray, so I was able to put these out literally just before because they're quite large. I wanted to have the opportunity to show them together. I hadn't got enough wall space to put them out, so I 
they're all being propped and tied, Ray. I had to tie them with tights around the back so they didn't blow off, which is what I have to do when I'm out painting sometimes on beaches. I have to take kitchen chairs, loads of my old tights, and I tie them around the back of the stretcher, stick the chair in the sand, put my foot on the pallet, and you just got to paint like hell before it all blows away. <laughs> I love it. That sounds, that sounds but great. The, these are great. <laughs> these are, so the, I'm a bit obsessed with gardening and my borders. And these are the red hot pokers, which they've sadly slightly gone over. But they're, I started them last year. But again, they're, I don't want them to be too representational. I want them to have almost like a rhythm and some music, like a, a good song and repeats. So when they're up on the wall, you can just drift off and anyone can... You can make up your own journey into them and disappear into them. And these have um, these have a real element, loose of um, slightly more expressionist in style. These ones, would you say? Yeah, I just love the expressionists. I love the colour, and I just want it to be bold and powerful. Ray, um, there's this one. Um, this one here is again from my borders, my pink poppies, um, and what I what I often do is work up at abstract backgrounds and then just go and take the detail of the head of the, um, the plants that I really like and paint them um, out in the flower bed out there. That's stunning. Again, I love the, I like the simplicity of that one actually, because the color. Yeah, palette... Thank you. I hope it's peaceful. I've, I've done a series. I think you've had some of the, um, the series before. I, I very much, um, like coming back to things, I get obsessed with things, so they, they, they tend to be places I go to again. Like going through here, I'm going to show you. Ray, um, sorry, just a bit skinny. Um, one that I've been working on, and my favourite spot, um, not far from here. Um, this, oh, no. this is heaven, a place to paint and just drift away, and in, and just let the wind blow through through everything and the trees and so it's got a lot of movement I think that's beautiful and that's near you is it Didn't, isn't that the space it's what you used to go as a child so this is quite yeah near you, isn't it? We, we used to picnic around there a lot and my mother used to she said she used to push us in a pram up and down it's a gated road it's absolutely stunning um but I've been quite lucky another bonus over lockdown um, because Ray, the best view is right in the centre of this road. So I have to go with my chairs and all my kit. And then I set up, and it's quite a big canvas. So I set it up in the middle of the road. And then if, you know, um, a truck or some little van comes along, then I have to get it. I have to shift off the road. Then I have to get back on again. But it's been quite quiet over lockdown. So I was able to just do it there and then. And then work on it here in my studio. Are the, are the farmers not quite, quite, quite used to you now? Do they kind of, you know, do they kind of see you and they're like, oh, here we go, loose crap, the artist painting again in the middle of the road. Yeah, I think, um, I think that is one of the bonuses about um, being an artist. People are very generous. You know, I often say, I've said to people in the past, oh, I love the view over your hedge. And they say, come in, you can paint in my garden. And then it, yeah, I end up with all their dogs around me. And it's, it, I think that's the joy. There's so, there's so many lovely elements to just doing this, this sort of thing as a, as a career and a vocation. It's, it's a joy. Yeah, it's, it's really lucky. Oh, they're beautiful. That the, they're the sheep. Those are the, those are these lovely sheep um, near near here in Swinbrook with the cow cow parsley and I what I really liked about them was they were almost a reflection the cow parsley almost was a reflection of lovely soft balls of sleeping sheep in then the shadows it's hot so they're all in the shade. There they are. Oh, that's beautiful. Again, another painting you could dive into like a Mary Poppins. That's gorgeous. Huh. It's so lucky. Oh, yeah, any more? Oh, Foy. Wow. Another great spot to paint. Is that Cornwall? It is. It's Cornwall. It's Foy. And when I was um, 
when I was painting this, I was actually on a oh, sort of, I don't know what you call them, um, where they put the boats up and you can, you know, like a key thing, but it was out in the water and it was so hot. I had to keep jumping in the water, cooling down and getting getting back on and carrying on painting. But it it's just the most fantastic spot with these rolling hills and then you've got the ever-changing clouds and the billowing sails and the water's rippling. Yeah. And you're and, really, I mean, um, you're, super, you're super talented at painting water, Lucy. Every, every, whenever you paint water, you have a real, I mean, that's a key, a key example, isn't it? The reflection. I love, I love water. I think it was Winston Churchill said you should never go anywhere unless you can paint or be in water or by water. And I couldn't agree with him more. No, this I'm is down not. in Cornwall. I love it. Like the little silhouettes of all your, again, your characters that pull that composition together so beautifully. Oh, thank you. It was so, the sunlight was so dazzling that you sometimes, you can hardly see the shapes of the surface coming in and out of the water. You, you know, it's that, you know, you, it's not, it's not truly defined. And that's what I, I think sometimes I like that. I don't want things to be crystal clear always. I, it, it's getting that impression of the moment. No, absolutely. Capturing, capturing the moment. Do you always, is it, do you tend to plan where you're going to paint? Is Cornwall somewhere you've always holidayed as a family or is it somewhere that you... It is. Yeah, yeah very much so. We, we go down to this, I've been going down to this part of the world for, um, since I was a child and we all love it. But, um, so, you know, through, through the last sort of 27 years of going up and down, I, people were very generous and introduced me to different areas. So I painted much more up on the North Coast, which I didn't know about um, prior to that as a child. And um, so, yeah, I, I, I have a I have um, it's all about really just being prepared. So I fill the car just full of canvases, so it's chocker, full of paint. Um, and just just looking and hunting, looking for inspiration, good places. If I find a good spot, I'll just I'll just go for it. I think that's amazing. How how do the kids feel? Because you've got you've got Tom, the gorgeous Tom, back. and Zuzu, whom we love. So how how do they feel? Are they quite artistic as well? Do they? They are, they... and very, and um, in a in a very um, um, a very different way. Very of them have got very much their own style and um and that yeah they're always busy you know the the lovely thing about having my studio in the center of the house is that everyone just helps themselves if they're in the mood for making something or making a sculpture or um painting you know quite often i'll be painting and the children will be out here painting or grabbing grabbing the the boards i think it's nice to have things out all the time. You don't have to have them put away. You can, you yeah. can um, just reach out and, and um, you can, you know, just do a quick sketch. Like the ducks, um, a line behind my painting. I don't know whether you can see this or not. So they're always here. Um, and I've got, we've got some. Sorry, Ray. You get them in the kitchen. Do they come in? Oh, yeah, them. they do. I was, I was, um, I was thinking they they might all be milling about in the kitchen and with um, and Cuthbert, my parrot as well. He's yeah, he's. I think everyone should. Um, be he's all, always on the scene. Shall yeah, I take you through into the kitchen? Yeah, I'd love to. Yes, please. I'd love I, to. I, I love seeing Cuthbert when I go to your house in your kitchen. He. Um, I, he absolutely ma loves making nests, and I've been giving him lots of bits of cardboard. Here he is, um, to chew up, and he le so it looks like he's out of a lucky dip raffle because he just chews it. Hello, darling. Hello. Oh, so this is my oh, beautiful no. boy. He's quite old, Ray. Now. Yeah, he is. I mean, we've seen him in. I've seen him, or we have seen him in quite a few of your paintings. He does always feature, doesn't he? And Dudley, the dog. He does. He won't come for cuddle now.
Yeah. Oh, I'm losing you a little. I can hear. You. I go back. I go coming back in here. Right there, we go. I'm I'm back. It I'm back in the main bit. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. We're a little bit I've blurry, lost you. but I think we. You know, I can kind of, I can definitely hear you. That's right. Can you? I can't hear on my ad. Oh, oh, I can hear you now. Hear me now. That's better. We're back. At least we know. At least we know it's good. All I can hear you now. <laughs> no pre-recording on this on this live feed. That's for sure. Lucy, you have you have worked so hard on this London series. <laughs> um, I think you've got Kings Road. Soho, many streets, Notting Hill, the Tube. Can you hear me okay? I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? I don't know whether I've lost you for a second. It is, yeah. A little bit. If you, if you can hear me, tell it's, me when you it's can, It's fun Lucy. to be able to show you, Ray. It, oh, a little I, bit I, intermittent. I, a little bit intermittent. It's just so much fun to show you. I'm going to try back in here, see if you can... Well, the... Fantastic. While we're waiting to get you back, Lucy, I will just let every... We've got a little bit of... It is a little bit hazy, but one, one thing, if you can hear me, I just wanted to let everyone... Hello, darling. I was just going to let everybody know who's listening that obviously your cat... I, I can't hear. Your catalogue live which is good on all of our so and web so everyone can download it i think we have got a little bit of intermittent i think it might be the weather and the fact we're on the live feed in lockdown putting all three together um but if you can hear me loose we we're going to put your in you live okay. it might be the weather oh i can hear you better now you're Hello. back we're getting back slowly. If you stay, if you stay there, Lucy, that's perfect. You're coming back to me now. I'm liking this. I'm seeing your face again. As a, as okay, a I think I can't. Hello, sorry. Don't worry. Listen, Lucy, it has been, if you can hear me, amazing. Thank you very, very much from all of us on the live feed. We've managed to see your whole of your London series. Um, and all of these paintings are live on our website currently also on our Instagram with the catalogue um, and also will be on yours. And our Q&A, which is great because the majority of it won't be all uh, hazy, but all the Q&A everyone can watch across all social media platforms and on the Whitewall Gallery, our sister gallery is by about five o'clock this afternoon and it will go live on IGTV on our social media platform straight after this Q&A um, and her body of work. So please do take a look at the catalogue. It is amazing. I've got, again, my emails are up. Um, and they are, some of the London series are selling as we speak, actually, having a look at those. So absolutely amazing. If you can hear me, Luce, I'd love to say a goodbye and thank you to Justin, your wonderful husband, for being a cameraman. But if you can hear me, Lucy, I'll, I'll end the feed and we look forward to seeing you back in the I can just soon. right hear you, Ray. I, I want to thank you for coming. Thank oh, you. It's been amazing. And I, I will be joining you in the cots very soon. But look forward to it, Ray. Thank you like, very much I again. I enjoyed showing you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Lucy. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, I hope so. Very soon. I'll be looking forward yeah. to it, Ray. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone from Clarendon. All right, bye, bye.